Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about undecidability. The problem that can be solved by a Turing machine is divided into two classes. Decidable problems and undecidable problems. A problem is said to be decidable problem if it has an algorithm and a Turing machine that halt whether or not it accepts its input. Uh, so first we should know about what is Turing machine halt. Uh, we say a Turing machine halt if it enters a state Q scanning a tape symbol X and del of this Q comma X is undefined. That means no move. For example, in this problem, uh, when we are in state Q0 and scanning the tape symbol blank, uh, here there is no move. So here we can say that when we enter state Q0 and scanning blank, the Turing machine is halt. Similarly, Q1 and 1, Q2 and 1, Q2 and blank, Q3 and 0, 1 and blank. These are all the undefined, uh, undefined uh, moves. So, a problem is said to be decidable if it has an algorithm and the Turing machine that always halt whether or not it accepts its input. So, if we are in state Q3 and halting means we can say that the Turing machine accepts the input. Uh, Q0, Q1, Q2 and halting means the Turing machine does not accept the input string. Uh, then next one is undecidable. So, a problem is said to be undecidable problem if it has no algorithm regardless of whether or not they are accepted by a Turing machine that the Turing machine fails to halt on some inputs. So here the Turing machine uh, halt on some input and fails to halt on some input means the problem is undecidable and it, uh, it has no algorithm because it does not um, halt on some other input. Next one is uh, Turing machine languages. Uh, there are two languages, there are two types of languages, recursively enumerable languages and recursive languages. Recursively enumerable languages means a language L over an alphabet sigma is said to be recursively enumerable languages uh, if there exists a Turing machine that accepts it. Uh, so the Turing machine accept the language means it is called as recursively enumerable and here uh, for all strings not in L the machine goes into an infinite loop. Uh, it means uh, the Turing machine, uh, this is the Turing machine M and the input string is called as W. So if the input string is correct input string, it will be accepted by the Turing machine. But if the input string is not correct means then it will enter into the infinite loop. It won't reject it. So next one is recursive languages. So, a language L over sigma is said to be recursive language if there exists a Turing machine that recognizes it. Uh, so, for all strings of L, the machine halt in a final state and for all strings not in L, the machine halts in a non-final state, halts in a non-final state. So, here the input string W uh, belonging to the language, if the input string is a correct input string means then the Turing machine will accept it. If the input string is wrong input string, then the Turing machine will reject it. Thank you.